She may be petite and soft-spoken, but don't let Audrey Wong's gentle demeanor fool you. The 41-year-old newly appointed nominated member of parliament is hoping to be a voice for the arts community and to play an integral role in the growth and development of the arts in Singapore at a national level. What was that whole process like uh, for you becoming a nominated member of parliament and what made you decide to be an NMP? Uh, actually, last time out with the previous batch of NMPs, there were already some discussion among the arts community that uh, perhaps we should think about um, ha- send, sending a representative as a nominated MP from yeah, from the arts community. But the discussion back then didn't really go that far. But uh, this time round, it got initiated again. Mm-hmm. And uh, so the information was circulated among a number of people and certain names were proposed. And then people thought, okay, this is a good idea. Now we really should um, surface at least a couple of names to propose as members of parliament. And, um, and of course, they had to ask who wants to stand. But Ms Wong didn't always aspire to be an NMP. In fact, she says she was quite hesitant to take up the challenge. It really wasn't like on my list of things I, want, I wanted to do. Okay. Um, and I really have so much here at Substation that occupies me, so I really had to think a lot about it. And I was actually thinking that there were other people who are much more suitable than, than I am. And I thought, well, you know, because the arts in Singapore is taking on, uh, well, a much more visible role in, in terms of Singapore's development, um, and people are paying much more attention to the arts, but then we don't really have a voice in decision making in Singapore, yeah, yeah. in policies and, and uh, yeah, and uh, so the arts in a way is sort of um, valorized, but at the same time, it's sort of neglected. Mm-hmm. Um, so I thought it was probably time for somebody to take up the the challenge, and I was thinking, you know, I should stop waiting around for someone else to do it and, and maybe yeah, do it myself. Ms Wong, who works as an artistic co-director at Substation, has been with the Arts Centre since 1996. She's the younger of two daughters of Mr Leslie Wong, a former police officer, and Mrs Joanna Wong, the former registrar at the National University of Singapore. Her elder sister Mary works as a law professor in the United States. How would you describe yourself as a person for someone who doesn't really know uh, you or your work, what you've done? Okay, yeah. uh, how would I describe myself? I guess um, I, I'm extremely committed to what I do. Mm-hmm. Um, if it's something that I believe in, I would put a lot of myself into pushing for it. Okay. Um, I I am a pretty nurturing and supportive kind of person. Okay. Um, and uh, I suppose. Um, Do you kind of have a certain amount of determination as well? Even though I'm I'm quite a quiet person, but I <laughs> think I have a certain amount of determination. Mm-hmm. What are your your hobbies and interests? Uh, hobbies and interests. Yeah. Um, okay. Now, if you work in the arts, right? Yeah. Your Work time and play time just mixes together. Yeah, it, it just <laughs> mixes together. Okay. So uh, in my free time, I I do actually go out to see theater. Okay. Um, watch a lot of dance. Um, I go to exhibitions. Um, like art or art like exhibitions. Yeah, mainly. Um, then uh, I do a bit of sports. Sports. Yeah. Oh, what sort of sports I do you do? Swim. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, do you, do you like get a lot of leisure friends. time though? Or? No, I don't. Not 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 as much as I would like. Okay. Yeah. And like just hanging out with friends, um, mm-hmm. you know, going for meals or a movie. Now that she's become an NMP, she says it's the first step in a long road ahead. It was actually very humbling that so many people had faith in me. Yeah. So now I do feel kind of a burden of expectation. And I've been sort of joking that I have my constituents, <laughs> constituents, <laughs> yeah, who are the arts community. Because you know the elected MPs, they have their constituents, yeah. right? Uh, whom they meet, you know, at the meet the people session, they have yeah. the grassroots and everything. Yeah. And I think, but NMPs don't really have that kind of constituency. Kind yeah, of, yeah, yeah. So I've been kind of joking that I have uh, constituents <laughs> who are actually very, very supportive, and okay. uh, in fact. Um, the others who were also who put themselves up for NMP as well, Loretta and Robert, you know, they were very uh, supportive as well, mm-hmm. and uh, and 
So in the end, it became uh, it felt like a team effort. But um, having me in Parliament is not the beyond and all. You know, we are quite aware that this is the first stage of a yeah, very, a very much longer work ahead. Yeah. yeah. Next up, Ms. Wong talks to us about the issues close to her heart and tells us what she thinks of the new batch of NMPs. So don't go away.